I did command uh, Delta Company 6RAR at the Battle of Long Tan. Um, the thing that sticks in my mind 52 years later is the, the courage and gallantry uh, of my soldiers. They were the ones that eyeballed the enemy and uh, I was just further back uh, giving orders, shall we say. And um, uh, I was very sad <coughs> to um, lose 17 soldiers killed that day. I said, oh, what am I going to do now? <laughs> but no, you're trained to do a certain job and sergeants are trained to take over from the platoon commander if it happens. I knew what I had to do. I just had to change from being a platoon sergeant to being a commander and making sure that I did what I needed to be done. Yeah, well, I went out with 29 soldiers and there's only eight of us left the next morning. My first reaction when my skipper or captain of the helicopter said, we'll do it, we walked outside and I said, what the hell are you doing? This is suicide. Um, how the hell did we fly out there full of ammunition, no support, uh, and there's thousands of VC out there. We were in pouring rain and I was looking down between my feet to see the ground because we couldn't see out the front at all or out the side. And, um, I recognised a, a landmark and we were behind the enemy line. But the whole time we were there, you never, I never thought we were going to come back. Uh, the importance of that ammunition delivery is certainly shown in the movie. Overall, I think the public uh, will become aware of uh, what we did in Vietnam. And it's taken a long time to make and I'm very happy that it's been made. If they've used some good characters that are going to bring younger people in, and they've filmed it very well and, and uh, it certainly uh, should and, it, it, and we've had such a tremendous response from Vietnam vets coming to the movie and special screenings and things like that. Um, I'm sure they're uh, getting the recognition through that movie.